Virgo collective, where is this landing for you? Let's start there first, okay? Virgo, this is landing for you in your seventh house, all right? Seventh house, the infamous seventh house. So, in the seventh house, we deal with in in the seventh in the seventh through twelfth houses. Let's start there. Your birth chart will shift away from personal insights and begin to focus on interpersonal or how you react with others. So personal is you, what you want. Interpersonal is how you react with others. For that reason, that's the reason why they say that the seventh house is ruled by Venus and Libra. It's all about partnership. This does not only mean romantic partnership. The astrological placements in this house are believed to govern your interactions in business, relationships, contracts, and negotiations as well, Virgo. Other names of this house that you may have heard being thrown around is the house of relationships and the house of balance. So, Virgo, you're very, very close to Libra. Not necessarily that you, you know, not literally speaking, but figuratively speaking, because after your season, their season starts. So, you share a month with them, you know. Um, so... The question is, is that for some of you, or what I'm trying to say is that, you know, Libra, things may be close to your heart, all right? With that being said, Virgo, hovering over your committed seventh house of agreements, compromise, and significant others, this new moon will bring new beginnings to emotional themes surrounding your beliefs on one-on-one -on -one relationships, as well as what you value in those you choose to keep close. Others of you can have an epiphany or an intuitive download on your relationship patterns so you don't undermine what comes up for review. What kind of relationship do you dream of having in the long run? Although Saturn will play a role on the manifestation process, Venus sextile Pluto highlights what needs to be transformed and or purged in order to be in order to move forward so you're being guided to affirm previous setbacks in my relationship never held me back they brought me new experience and a newfound awareness which is interesting because virgo for virgo sun moon risings and venus all of you guys you got the card of love which is the card of 17, which interestingly enough goes back to the number eight, which talks about another, uh, when Saturn plays a role um, in the manifestation pro process, Venus sextile Pluto is highlighting what needs to be transformed, which also shines a light on that eighth house. So this is extremely important to you. Um, from a numerology standpoint, one plus seven is eight. Eight in Tarot talks about mastery, action, and accomplishment. So all of this energy for you is full circle. So in your personal relationships, a soulmate connection is likely for those who have searched for love. Your heart is on fire and you are likely to achieve, achieve or attract the love like never before. You will feel more dynamic. Those in existing relationships, again, will either choose to make a lifelong commitment or simply end the relationship when it becomes clear that there is no future together. It is a time to let go of troublesome relationships or find a solution. Harmony is the key to success, both now, Virgo, and in the future. Invitations could come in at a rapid pace. Be out and about as much as possible and dress to impress in every opportunity. A feeling, a chance meeting could in, incite previously unknown feelings. Family reunions are likely and celebrations and get together are filled with laughter. Okay. As it pertains to your career and money, the aura of attraction surrounding this car will be great networking opportunities. You will probably find that you are the one who brings peace and harmony 
to work to the work front and which is probably true for yourself anyway virgo and in addition to that you will find yourself in a fresh role professionally as you gain new admirers and business offers money opportunities will manifest okay so either way something's coming in it's going to be new it's going to um it's going to be surrounded with good energy and good love it, uh, good good energy of love which will surround again your connections you're being guided to move forward positively in those areas who are you crossing with in love last month you are not crossing with anyone so there is nothing stopping you um hurting or hindering you moving forward in love um and what better way to celebrate this when it's hitting you as a Libra sun and rising in your eight, in your seventh house anyway. So that's beautiful energy. Thank you so much for listening, Virgo. I'll chat with you in the next one.